Alright guys welcome back to another video in which I'll be showing you how to upgrade to react native 0.60 in iOS. So I did a video earlier which was targeted just for Android people but uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to do it for iOS. Frankly for CodeDAM for iOS it's relatively state forward. What you have to do is just go into your iOS directory as you can see right here. I'm in CodeDAM app iOS which is my iOS folder and you're gonna see something like this in your iOS directory. What you have to do is first of all just nuke your podfile.log file. Right? Once you remove that, what you have to do is make some changes to your pod file. Right? And you have to remove your pod file pods folder as well. So if there's a folder called pods, just remove this and remove your pod file.log as well. I'm telling you to remove podfile.log because I had some leftover dependencies in podfile.log which were not in the pod file but still it was actually installing it right next you gotta paste everything like these all these dependencies into your pod file now the reason for this is because from react 0.60 onwards what react has done did react native team is that they have completely shifted all the dependencies to cocoa pods that is this particular making use of the bot file like this so you have a link in the description for this for uh, how this bot file should look but make sure you have all your dependencies going on as well right so if you had any custom dependencies just like i had google sign in facebook sdk core and youtube kit dependencies so make sure you have them there if you have like Google Analytics or you know uh, anything else like uh, Code Push or anything Microsoft App Center or something like that, then make sure you have that just right here, right? So once you have made changes to your pod file, just go ahead and write pod install here, which is going to create a pod file dot a pods folder for you here. This pods folder and make sure you add it to get ignore because it would be heavy and you don't need it on your version control system and uh, yeah you're almost done so once you have done that what you need to do is go to your uh, main project go to this uh, target general and scroll down and remove I don't know if I can just zoom in here I'll just zoom in in the video so you'll see this section right and remove all the dependencies which looks something like these right so if you have uh like react uh for example if you have react core added here if if it looks something like this lib react code dot a is here then remove it right you need to remove them because this pod file would take care of the linking part right so that's what react has shifted to so remove everything just leave the ones which you think you have um added yourself right so for example i have this app center actually i don't need this so i had that by myself i had this i don't need this either because i'm not using it right now i had this media player i had the score media so i'll keep them right otherwise you need to get rid of the others which you have listed right here right so once you do that you're pretty much good to go just go ahead and build your solution you should be able to run on this project on react native 0.60 and onwards and obviously make sure make sure you have your package.json as well updated with uh, your react native 0.60 or, or above right so yeah that would be all for this video if you face any errors let me know if i could help and uh, yeah that would be all and i'll see you then in some other video